CVN-79 USS John F. Kennedy will be the latest addition to the fleet of the US Navy. After completing its construction in 2025, this giant aircraft carrier will be added to the US Pacific Fleet, providing its assistance in power projection, maritime security and humanitarian assistance operations around the world. This will be the second warship that belongs to the Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier. It will take a great leap ahead of its predecessor in terms of technology, with some notable achievements that are very helpful in modernizing the American naval power to counter threats from China. According to the Airlant, CVN-79 will serve as the most agile and lethal combat platform globally, with improved systems that enhance interoperability among other platforms in the carrier strike group and with the naval forces of regional allies and partners. In January 2009, the US Navy awarded a contract worth $374 million to Huntington Ingalls Industries to carry out the design work and construction preparation for USS John F. Kennedy. Then, the shipbuilding process was started at the company's Newport News Shipbuilding Division with the first cut of steel ceremony that was held on 25th of February 2011. It was originally planned to be completed in 2018, and it was later extended to 2020. Now it is five years behind that schedule also, and the delivery is expected to happen in 2025. By 2017, 50% of the structural constructions of the ship were completed, and they pushed it to 75% within one year gap. Then in May 2019, the installation of the 588-ton bridge and island to the John F. Kennedy was what happened. Even though there is considerable delay in the final delivery, the ship was 100% structurally completed in 2019. The shipbuilder is currently carrying out only the additional outfitting and testing at the company's Newport News Shipbuilding Division. In parallel to this lengthy delay in the delivery, the production cost is also rising by a significant value. Originally, it was proposed to build within a budget of $9.2 billion at the start. This value was later raised to $11.5 billion in 2016, adjusting to the economic situation at that stage. The aircraft carrier USS John F. Kennedy CVN-79 will have a different radar than the USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78, bringing the new Enterprise Air Surveillance Radar EASR, into the carrier fleet one ship earlier than planned and saving the program about $180 million, according to the Navy. According to the details revealed by the US Navy, this giant aircraft carrier will be 1,106 feet in length and 134 feet in width. The total weight of the structure will be around 100,000 tons in weight. Even though fewer details have been revealed about this ship, 23 new technologies will be added to CVN-79 compared to its predecessors. Most notably, these technologies will result in considerable improvements related to propulsion, power generation, ordnance handling, and aircraft launch systems. In combination, these innovations will support the improvement of the sortie generation rate by 33% compared to Nimitz-class carriers, resulting in more cost savings during their operational activities. Most notably, the US Navy has tried to automate most of the operational components of the ship, allowing it to reduce the crew capacity by a substantial amount while improving operational efficiency. The aircraft carrier has been designed to power it with two A1B nuclear reactors and it will work with 250% more electrical capacity than its predecessors. 
These innovations have laid the foundation for the CVN-79 to load weapons and launch aircraft with greater efficiency than the US Navy has experienced before. As it is still under construction, the exact carrying capacity of the John F. Kennedy is yet to be revealed. However, it is estimated that this giant ship will accommodate around 90 aircraft, including a mix of FA-18E, F Super Hornets, EA-18G Growlers, E-2D Advanced Hawkeyes, and potentially the F-35C Lightning II. Further, it will come with the ability to support a variety of helicopters, such as the MH-60RS Seahawks, which helps to extend its capabilities in anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and logistic support missions. This giant warship will feature anti-aircraft missile launchers like RIM-162 ESSM and RIM-116 RAM to protect itself from enemy air attack. Further, it will include three Phalanx CIWS and four M2.50 caliber 12.7 mm machine guns, enhancing its firepower. In designing this newest warship, designers have utilized the latest technologies like electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear technology called the short forms EMALS and AAG respectively moving away from traditional catapult and landing systems. The next two Ford-class aircraft carriers, Enterprise CVN-80 and Doris Miller CVN-81, are in the plans of the US Navy after the successful completion of CVN-79. So, the success of the CVN-79 will greatly influence the commencement of the production of the next two Ford-class aircraft carriers. As we mentioned, this giant warship includes new nuclear power units, electromagnetic catapults, improved weapons movement, an enhanced flight deck capable of increased aircraft sortie rates, and a growth margin for future technologies to bring the shipbuilding process of the US Navy to a new level. After completing the production of this giant warship, the US Navy will enhance its status as the global leader of the aircraft carrier industry, further improving its gap with China and Russia in terms of technology as well as in military. What do you think about the CVN-79 USS John F. Kennedy? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.